That should not have been so long. And I only won like three dollars out of it. Total like four bucks. It was not necessary to play it that long. Holy shit. Alright, now who wants to play dominoes? <laughs> Fuck no. Let's move on. Actually, let's see what fucking what's his face Micah has to say. Where the hell his name is? Michelangelo. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers. Oh, he said the mission name. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Now that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Oh, he came, by the way? Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, now somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> this ain't the time. Uh, Me and my white horse. Fine. I think it's the I'll same horse that he's gonna... got. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. We are just so random with our colors. Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen. But like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk. Yeah, I got a fancier nut rifle now. Stand with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I was stuck playing poker for an hour. 
Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. All right, girl. I think you trusted too much into my ability. It's because I got plot armor. For right now, anyway. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look. I hope it stays that way. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. <laughs> this is horse shit. From both of you, it might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation, men created equal. Liberty I have a lot of shit. Justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. I don't know how. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Well, at least I got a fancier rifle because I picked up on that one last mission. Or one of the missions before. And that poker game, I'm so disoriented. I don't know how long ago anything was anymore. I hope they don't see me in my red t-shirt and uh, black vest. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. Surprised I can hear them. I guess they have a microphone attached. So, uh, how's your gang doing? We still believing in you. Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry. About your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. Wait, you're, you're in the bed? <laughs> Is this thing over? Yeah, kind of figured. I just like how we didn't hear it until like three steps or four. Hello, sugar. You ain't dead, is you? Not yet. 
Well, I don't know. Colin got a sense. Handing him over to the laws. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colin Bright, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colin and Patrick? He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Did I kill you? How the fuck am I alive? What, he shoot me with a bean bag? He shot me in the mouth with a shotgun! I got a sack on my head. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you... I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, we weren't angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of it and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And the whole lot. Arthur, I missed you. <laughs> Now, it's bad enough that I got shot in the head or I'm upside down. The blood's pouring out of me. I should be fucked. any ability to do a damn thing is beyond me. Maybe they only shot me. Maybe they only shot me in the shoulder and not my head. I thought they hit me in the head.
Wow, that broke his neck quick. Oh, good throwing knives. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Where the fuck am I going? Thing I came over here to recover my weapons would have sucked if I just left without everything. To avoid them. Oh, is this what happens when you don't eat or drink for a really long time? stuff to eat and drink, but I feel like it works well that we're not stopping to eat. It's carrying me home. Like how no one's like in a rush. Arthur. Arthur? Forrester. Yeah, I told you it was just set up to us. My boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on Earth! Oh, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! Help me! I look you're like I'm in PJs. Uh, you're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Real cute. Looks like I'm in like a onesie pajama outfit. Is this thing pooping? What is this doing?
A few weeks later, Jesus, I'm out of commission for a while. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. A few weeks later, I put on the same outfit that I think I, I, I should have lost when they captured me. Jesus. Well, since a few weeks passed, I should probably be wearing something different. Someone's singing. <laughs> Sleep until morning. Good God. Well, that was crazy. That was probably like the first time we've had a mission where things have gone like that poorly for us or had our lives in danger. At the time, it's just like, okay, we got out of it shooting the shit out of things. You know, still haven't been able to find Abigail or anybody that I need to, or Jack to. This. Of course, son. Good to see you back up in Adam again. A few more battle scars? I doubt he was getting ready. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Yeah, get here. Hell, I haven't even seen Sadie after that whole mission. Morning, Arthur. Mr. Pearson. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. I don't think I have anything this to grab. to do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? No. No, I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. You okay? Hey. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. Now take care. Good morning, Arthur. Arthur! Good to see Are you're you just fine. Why? Well, well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, 
Lead the way and we'll find out. Alright. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. So you got the shit beat out of you. Mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. Yeah, I should we also watch myself outside. run the O'Driscolls after that stop. shit happened to me. And I wish there was a little bit more to it, like a dramatic recovery thing, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. At least something actually happened to us, so we're not like fucking invincible constantly. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Jesus. Andy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But... Work, Alden. Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. That's here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. How the hell did I pay him? One of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged <laughs> men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. He's like, what the fuck? Siltwater Strand, he said. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Hey, you're okay, girl. Well, I'd follow you, but you're gonna walk to your horse. Extreme petting. Just non-stop rubbing this horse. <laughs> okay, let's go. This and way. That pretty much saved my life. Easy. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't say.
sound like you left anyone alive to recognize oh. you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Yeah, am I gonna get knocked out again? You keep wanting to meet at these crossroads, and it's like something bad happens. And I had my rifle and everything all ready, too. Then I get knocked out and captured. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. All right. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster. I'd like my gun to be out of my holster and wave it around. It makes me feel naked. Stop the gorge! Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I'm just gonna smoke. Madam, 
Might I have your card? Is on the twenty third of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. You're all right, girl. girl. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. There, girl. I didn't even see how much I got from that. Sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see <laughs> Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. All right. Visit the thing for information about coaches carrying valuable cargo. Let's go, girl. He said something about somebody in Strawberry. wonder who the hell the guy in Strawberry was talking about. What else comes to worst, it might pop up as a stranger mission or something in the area if I go there by train. The bill has a mission, just knows that's not going to go well in there. Go to the area for valuable information. The problem is, I don't even know where else it would be. I guess maybe it hasn't popped up yet because there hasn't been any new cargo information. Oh, there's the crime. Singers for me to rob. Fine morning. This doesn't answer my question, sir. Hmm. Well, I guess we just wait. Plus, I think we're under alert still. I don't know. 